Hi. Hi. Welcome to another edition of Ask the Chicks. Um, we just did a Facebook update that <laughs> It's a flat Tessie. It's a flat Tessie. Um, where we asked all of you to submit questions, and we've been completely amazed that just within 10 minutes. We got like a thousand we, questions. We got a ton of questions. So we probably won't get to them all. But we're going to flip back and forth between here and yeah. Facebook to see if so we we're can gonna, actually answer some. We're yeah. going to try to get to as many as we can, but wow, thank you for the really nice response. Um, and we're going to start, actually we had some on the site that we were going to do first yeah. from before okay. that we hadn't gotten to, so... Um, I'll start with those. So Elaine Bennis asked, how difficult or easy is it to find other chicks on the right these days? You know, I don't think it's hard because all of my friends are conservative women mm -hmm. and we have a lot of friends. <laughs> <laughs> we do. I don't think it's, I don't think it's hard. I just, I just think that a lot of conservative <laughs> women aren't as, as, um, what's the word? Outspoken, outspoken as we are because it's I, like a secret it is you gotta keep it we're down. in the closet we're in a conservative closet we were talking this morning <laughs> at how we don't ever say at work what our political affiliation is and so mm -hmm. if this if our site ever takes off how that's going to be kind of awkward yeah. for our, our day jobs and it's because there's this stigma attached to um to conservative women mm -hmm. i think we kind of just stay away from yeah. From advertising that because I know most a lot of the people that I work with are liberal and I'd be I'd be totally afraid to I just don't mix work yeah with politics and or religion well yeah because I, I mean it's, it's a obviously idea. a divisive issue yeah and I've, I've lost friends I've lost yeah. I've had a couple a couple girlfriends yep. um, in particular um, one in particular who I loved I loved I loved her and she just once we started the site it was about six to twelve months in defriended me on Facebook yeah. is no longer my friend I mean it was just she just couldn't it's that whole and it just makes me mad because I've always known that she was liberal and I, I know that she knows deep down that I was always conservative it's just that when we started the site when you start talking about it people just get they mm -hmm. that that tolerance thing goes out the window because yeah. they're only tolerant of viewpoints that are theirs mm -hmm. and that yeah. I've lost some 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 good people along but the way. But the but the question, I mean, I think the answer is they're out there, and it's just a matter of yeah, in a roundabout way we just answer that question. Yeah, we, <laughs> Hello, we just answered the question. Look, there's a chicken. <laughs> we just answered like 17 other questions, yeah. but there was a similar question like this on Facebook. But Joe in California on our website said, "How can how else can we know you're serious unless you show more skin?" <laughs> And then someone have, just asked on Facebook, you should, can you please wear something more low cut? Which is funny. This is very low cut. Mine's I mean, kind of low cut. It goes you all the way to here. It goes all the way to here. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get some like work done if, if I'm going to start showing them. I don't, <laughs> I don't think I'm qualified to show them. Um, yeah, so we're not going to. We're not going to, yeah. Show I'm sure our husbands would Again, really enjoy that Again, chicks too. on the right, not, not chicks, chicks of, of the, the night. night. Yeah. Different website. Um, okay, Employed Oki asked on our site, do either of you have single siblings or clones that are equally conservative and into old biker dudes? <laughs> I don't think clones. My sister and I look totally opposite than one another, but she's single. And my sister is single but sort of spoken for. She's spoken so. for. She's totally spoken for. She's adorable, too. Both and of them are adorable. As I, far as I'm aware, I don't think I have a clone. And it's going to cost you because since we don't make money, I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to pimp my sister out, but I'm not above it. <laughs> like shoes <laughs> we should start like a matchmaking portion we can of our matchmaking <laughs> conservative matchmaking. we may actually make money that way which would be nice it would be nice to that'd be a nice change. again i don't know if we've mentioned this but, but we, make we make no, no money, money. <laughs> none <laughs> okay let's see now on facebook charles pakala sorry Flat if Tessie I'm... was feeling left out oh i'm sorry charles pakala if i'm butchering your name he asked i think this is a great question <laughs> Do you think the sheeple are stupid enough to reelect the supreme leader for another term? Yes, I do. I agree. I absolutely think. I think that they have a very good shot of winning this election, mm -hmm. which is a sad commentary on the Republican Party, yep. which is why we do what we do. And because if, it, if, it is, it's pathetic yeah. if he wins. If he wins this election, I have lost a lot of faith in humanity. Maybe I'm the negative one of the two of us, <laughs> but I have, I mean, I'm seriously going to put my hands up and I'll cry because it, I am afraid for my daughter and her future. Because yeah. if, Look at his record, people. He's been an epic failure. He's yeah. been the worst president in our history. So and that I, ties I'm gonna, in. So I'm going to drink more. <laughs> so that ties into Kathy McEntee's question, which which she asked: Do you think if Romney gets the not the nomination and ultimately elected, will he be a pleasant surprise, or will he just be another Rhino? 
And I, here's my answer. I think if we get the Senate and keep the House, then I think we have and good, we get the White yes, House. That's then a good I think thing. We can make some. some I think we can make some progress. changes. But I'm cautiously optimistic. Yeah, I mean, I think. Yeah, I just you know I don't think it's any secret that my man's not in the race, and so. Um, I'm going to be pulling the lever for whichever Republican candidate gets the nod, and I will be doing it not particularly enthusiastically. But doing um, it. But doing no, it. Nonetheless. For sure. We'll do it, yeah. <laughs> um, Elizabeth Shirai Basigal. Good sorry. Good. Sorry. That, was, I know I'm, that was probably wow, really bad. That's terrible. She's probably going, ah. <laughs> She asked, do you ever wonder how educated people can be Democrats? Okay, I love this question because I'm not really going to answer it. I'm going to twist it. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to be like a liberal journalist, and I'm going to completely twist it. But spin, um, spin, spin. do you ever wonder how educated people can be Democrats? No. But I bet that liberal people wonder how Republican people can be educated. Because they're elite. Yeah, because they feel like they have the, the corner market on being educated. Mm -hmm. And we have so many people in it pisses me off when we get the people that write into us and say oh you're just stupid you're stupid you're stupid and you're uneducated and you're hill jacks and you're racist. rednecks and you're racist and yeah. you're homophobes and this and that you're uneducated okay neither one of us is uneducated right both of us have jobs and i love my favorite thing is um when they say that we're sitting at home blogging all day and our husbands are paying for us <laughs> that is uh, Again, hilarious i wish that were hilarious the case. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess I have to be a Democrat to do that, right? So <laughs> they, they say what they know. So I think that there is a, a stereotype, and that's and that's why I wanted this question to be asked. Not Christo Dennison asked, <laughs> "Why <laughs> government no leave us alone?" <laughs> I don't know the answer to that. I I'm assuming it's. That. I think the answer to that question is um, government will not leave us alone because we keep electing Democrats. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> ding ding ding. Okay. Nice. Patty Gable Miller, um, I like this. She said, I post everything I can on my Facebook page that I know to be true about the Obama administration and why he needs to be replaced. I do this because so many of my Facebook friends are unaware and uninformed and just watch the liberal news. Now I'm seeing numerous complaints about all of the political posts on Facebook and they want them to stop. How do you respond to this? If they're not reading them, what good is trying to inform others, especially when there are so many undecideds out there? Personally, I don't put political posts on my Wait, Facebook I don't, page. I don't put political stuff on my personal right. Facebook page because um, it's just caused a lot of problems. With yeah. Now, we have the luxury of having you know, a, an a outlet. separate Facebook page for us. Yes, we have an outlet. Right. Some people, I they mean, don't. a lot of people don't have that. So they'll use their Facebook page as mm -hmm. I'm going to give my political views. But I would imagine a lot of those people, they've probably already filtered out the people that don't agree with them. <laughs> or because, the people have self-filtered themselves. Yeah, because yeah. people aren't going to put up with that for very long. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's true. It's, that's a hard one. I mean, I sympathize because I know, you know, if you're passionate about something, you want to talk about it yeah. on your page. And so it's hard not to. But we yeah, just, you can get yeah. yourself into trouble yeah, that we way. We just have an outlet. So we, it's, we try to keep it on our site. Okay, Randy Allen asked, aside from Sarah Palin and Michelle Bachman, who would you consider the top women of the Republican Party? Or who would you like to see take the presidency away from Obama? We would have liked Mitch Daniels to have taken the presidency oh, away from Obama. We think, and I honestly think he could have done it. Oh, I think yeah. he could have done it without question mm -hmm. now that I, especially when I see the field as it yeah. is right now, I think he would have been, um, they wouldn't have even known what to do <laughs> with him. Because you can't, there's, I mean, there's nothing about the guy that you can, mm -hmm. it, his record speaks for itself. One, um, so, but women, women. women. Um, but a few days ago, I put up a video of Mia Love. Love oh her. Oh my God! I now love she, her so much. She is up and coming. Mm -hmm. And if she Mayor gets, if she Utah. gets that. Yeah, if she gets that seat, and then she continues to move forward, I mean, she will have a beautiful career because she she's is. She's like everything that we want. Yeah, she is. She is what what I mean. She like I said, she embodies our sight. Mm -hmm. She's what we're all about. It's yeah. about giving a makeover. I mean, she's it's terrific. Awesome. She is awesome. Yeah. I think Nikki Haley. Lee in South Carolina is a cool chick. Mm -hmm. Liz um, Cheney. Liz Cheney is just awesome. She's I just like the whole Cheney family. <laughs> Do you have you have a crush on that clan? I love Dick Cheney <laughs> and Condi. Condi's Condi Rice. awesome. We were sorority sisters. <laughs> um, um, let's see. From Jeffrey Allen Carroll Borisco. Is Mitch Daniels open to a VP nod? And, you know, he's coy about his answer to that. Um, uh, we don't know if he is or not, but I would I, if he is... You know, I would. Oh I don't God. see that it, because the reasons that he didn't run, I don't think would change all that drastically if he were to run for VP. I mean, I think there's the it issue is a of lower, privacy. It and, is a lower profile position. But there though. would be a lot of that same scrutiny. I just think 
he's too good to be vice president. That's to me, that's a very meaningless role, <laughs> especially when you follow Joe Biden. It's almost embarrassing. <laughs> to jo- I mean, it's already embarrassing that they yeah. elect that we elected Joe Biden. He would be, be much. President. There would be lots of better uses for him. I think. I think so too. Uh, John Stacy Mucci Cook. I think cock it, cock. Oh, you said cock. <laughs> Um, K O C H. That doesn't get that doesn't get bleeped out in video. It does on our website, but, but we're not filtering it. It's K O C H. Isn't that isn't that cock I or is it cock? Cook. Is it cotch? Anyway. I like I like I like cock better. <laughs> she likes cock. Um, <laughs> do you think that our founding fathers America might actually be toast? Maybe. Do I think that our founding fathers America may actually be toast? I have not lost hope. If I had lost hope, I would I would stop doing the site. If I was just like screw it, we're done, then we would never we wouldn't be doing the site. Yeah, I mean, right. I no, I have not lost hope because I think there are good people out there, and I think there are people fighting the good fight. Do I think that people are trying to make it something different than what our founding fathers intended? Absolutely, mm-hmm. which is why we do what we do. Yeah. I think that there's a lot of misguided people that are voting for people thinking that, you know, they're going to take care of them, and that there's this. It's mm-hmm. they're not. I mean, it's not. That's not what they wanted. That's not it's why the founding fathers wanted. It's, right. So that yes, I mean, I I think that we're on a bad path. This is great. From Glenn Allen Carswell, <laughs> who asked simply, "Dogs or cats? Dogs or cats? Well, now you're a cat person. I like both, but I don't have any. I'm animals a I'm right a dog now. person. I have three dogs. I had four. Yeah, we have giraffes. I had four up until this time last year. We yeah. lost our, our eldest Great Dane. And she was 14. Yeah, which that's is like crazy. I don't know how she lived that long. But, but I love have, me some dogs. I'm yeah. on a waiting list currently to get a dog. Um, long story, but I'm going to get I'm going to get a dog this year. We will have a you dog. You need to tell the story about the dog. I love the well, dog. Well, it's a long story, but I I mean, you can most of you know, yeah, okay. So most of you know that Junior Mock has cerebral palsy. He's in a wheelchair. He's seriously um, handicapped. And so there's a program called ICAN which um, involves prisoners training therapy dogs for kids and adults um, with disabilities. And so we are actually on the waiting list to get a um, reject <laughs> from that program. Which is a good, re- those are good <laughs> yeah, rejects. So, yeah, so, because we don't need a full-blown therapy dog, because yeah. actually Junior Mock is too disabled to get benefit out of that. But, but, he, but he loves, he loves like dogs. I brought my Tessie, who looks like this, Yeah. and Tessie's come over and hung out with, oh, with, he uh, loves it. with Junior Mock a couple times, and yeah, he loves, so he loves dog. dogs, so that would be, you just need one, one to be super, super yeah. loving. Yeah, I just want a really affectionate See, I love dog. that story. Yeah, yeah I need to share that, story. because it's, it's like awesome. And shout out to the people that do that and train yeah. those dogs. Yeah, and that's... it must be heartbreaking for the people that do the training that to have like, to give let them, them away. Go. Oh yeah, because they've been working with them for um, eighteen months. Yeah, that's there's like like there was a um, an organization called Canine Companions, and it's very um, similar in Atlanta, and it's like that. And mm-hmm. and when you go to the graduations, they're so emotional because oh, they have God. to they have to get get you know, to say goodbye to these dogs that have been basically. I couldn't do it. I couldn't either. And you know that um, I can has a Facebook page. I might as well just give them a little promo. Yeah, give them a shout out. Um, and they have pictures of all the puppies that are going Ugh. through the training right now, and Mr. Mr. Mock keeps looking at the pictures going, fail, fail, because <laughs> he wants I one of them it. to okay. fail the course so that they can join our Yeah, family. pick one that's really, it doesn't, <laughs> and it doesn't matter what the breed is, they're mm-hmm. all ridiculous. I mean, no. they're smarter than most people that vote. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely most Democratic yeah. voters. <laughs> all right, so I think that's it. I, I think, think that that's concludes it. for now. Thank you so much, everyone, for sending in the questions, and please continue to do that, because there will be more episodes, and we'll continue to make videos, and answer as many as we can. Have a great week. Thanks. Bye. (laughs)